Now, I want to jump into another topic. This time, it's the Phoenix Contact Project Complete. If you go to their website, you can download this software and you can install it in ePlan and it'll be integrated and it'll go under tools and then there is Phoenix Contact all the way to the right. In my case, I will rebuild a schematic just like this, okay? So I've got two terminal strips and then I'm gonna add some connection definition points between them and include the correct wire color and cross section for each one so I can see that visually in, in Pro Panel. So what I have here is a blank schematic page. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. In order for me to insert a terminal, what I have to do is simply search for the one I need. So for me, I need two connection points with saddle jumper. So I'll place this one first here. This will be my TB1. And I will then simply duplicate this so that I'll have five of them, okay? Now I'm gonna change the function definition for the fourth one. This will be a neutral terminal. And then this, the last one will be a ground terminal. I've established my first terminal strip. I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. So so that I have another one next to it and they're connected. And then from here within ePlan, you can actually number your wires using this option here, place connection definition points. It'll ask you for a specific scheme that you want. So for me, I'll just choose the default and it'll add these connection definition points. And then from here, I can then set the actual wire designations. So it'll just be 001, 002, all the way to 005. It's just sequential. And so from here, I can set the wire colors for my, my, my three-phase incoming power. I can go to properties and then I can change the data so that I can choose the right color. So I'll make this, for example, I'll just make this black. And then I'll choose a diameter of, of six AWG. I'll also change the connection, the color number and cross section for my neutral. So this will be blue and then I'll just change this to eight. Same for my ground. I will go and change this to green yellow, which is a typical color for a ground. And then also make this six American wire gauge. I'm also going to add a saddle jumper so that I can show you that 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 Phoenix contact smart enough to know that there's a saddle jumper there and it'll add the accessory for it. So all I need to do is simply choose the correct connection symbol, just like how I showed you. So I'll place it here. And then I'll also need T node going up, just like this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I will simply select all the items that I have in the schematic and go to Tools, Phoenix Contact Planning. Phoenix Contact Project Complete, will, I will be using the default settings and all I need to do is hit Export. 
and choose both terminals so that it'll configure it within the software. So what's happening in the background right now is it's simply trying to figure out how you configured your schematics and then it'll assign part numbers and add accessories to your terminal blocks. This planning tool allows you to quickly and easily order terminal strips as well because it's connected to the to their eShop. And also once it's finished, you'll see that my terminals will have the part numbers that I need. And you can also see that I can export it back to ePlan. So once it's done, we will take a look at how how smart this tool is and how can I can save time by allowing allowing it to to assign the part numbers for me. I wouldn't have to worry about it. I could either open project complete from here and it'll show me what it looks like from their software, right? It added some accessories there it even added a marker for me right and then that gets exported back to ePlan automatically so as soon as i hit finish here notice how remember i i i placed these terminals without a part number right but if you take a look now i can tell that there is a part number or i could simply look at the preview of this you'll see that I have these part numbers and even the term the saddle jumper there. Okay. They're all different because I've set the function definition for this particular terminal block to be a neutral. So Phoenix Contact Project Complete grabs the correct uh, part number for it. Same for the ground. Okay. So in my case, if I were to generate my project reports, I can see my terminal diagrams for TB1, same for TB2, and then also a nice terminal connection diagram as well. Now, when it comes to terminal strip definition, those are your markers. You would have to add it within, within the the terminal strip definition property under function text. So for example, if I just make this something like this, right? I can copy this for my first terminal and then I hit okay. Same for my terminal TB2. I'll go ahead and change this to this. And if I update my reports, you'll see that it'll get added under my terminal strip overview. So that's where it's coming from. 